Hey, we've been out uh, trying to sail on the big lake today, Lake Michigan, and there's no wind, so this seems like a really good time to put a little review on YouTube about the Duffy Sail Comfort seat that we've been using for how many years now, Donna? Probably been six or seven. Yeah, and this is like our original chair right here. Is it holding up pretty well so far? Has it lost anything since it was made? Great. You know, it's made out of umbrella. It's the same stuff that the uh, sail cover is made out of and the bimini is made out of. It's good old, good old, authentic sunbrella outdoor canvas, so it's held up really well. Another thing that's neat is on the bottom of it, um, just to give it more abrasion resistance, it's got the Cordura on the bottom, which is just going to be a lot more durable because it's going to be rubbing on your non-skid surface, or maybe you haul it down the dock and use it at a party or something and this is the way it's going to hold up to it and as long as I'm looking this way right now I'm going to come down a little further and we'll look at the bottom there and you can kind of see where a zipper goes across there. Thanks Donna. And uh, that zipper is actually a double zipper. They're a little hard to open but that's on purpose. You have to stick a paper clip in there and we do that so people don't open them up for fun while they're underway because this is full of the little styrofoam pellet but there's a zipper you slide all the way across and then you find another zipper under that and inside of that is all the styrofoam beans that you can buy at Walmart or Meyer, any of the big stores for a big bag for like 10 or 12 bucks. And Donna's gonna take a shot at opening that little bit. Let's see what she finds in there. That one that does have a tab on it. If you can just show us the zipper that's underneath there, that'll be pretty good. Yeah, so it's really a secure system. Keep you know the wrong people from getting in there and making a mess with a bunch of styrofoam pellets. So that's kind of the, the main part of the chair. You can kind of notice it's got a handle on the back that Donna can move it around with. Now she's smashing it right now because she's getting it ready to sit down in. And so she's going to show us how you sit in it. You kind of adjust it a little bit. Then you plunk yourself down in it. And let's check with Donna and find out, are you comfy? Very. So, Why do you think it's so comfortable? It conforms to your body with the pellets inside. Ah, and that's what, what I've noticed and is that, you know, from her shoulders on down to the upper part of her leg, everything's in contact with that chair. It's not foam, so there's pressure points. She's comfortable everywhere. It's just like a custom fit chair that works wherever you go. So right now, she's got it up against the the bulkhead of the boat, which is where we use it a lot when we're just kind of hanging out or kind of just sailing around the bay a little bit. But uh, it'll also self-support so you can use it on the dock or anywhere. Can you show us how you do that? Yeah, so the way it's built, kind of a teardrop shape, it'll hold itself up just fine. This one's actually getting ready to need some more pellets added. They do kind of compress after a while. And so we're going to put in some more pretty soon, but we just couldn't wait to do the video. And would you do me one more favor and let's show the nap mode on that. Donna can slide way down to the end of it and you can see how good it is for just kind of camping out on it and taking a snooze. There's other products out there that are little folding seats and so on that they claim that you can take a snooze in it like this, but it doesn't really work. But you can see that Donna's and in, in just a really relaxed position it has a built-in pillow and she can either soak up some rays if it wasn't so cold out or she could read her book so we're gonna um have donna help us out a little more and we're gonna look at some other places where... well here's donna she's sitting on the seat at another location where it works really well on the boat this happens to be a catalina 28 with some nice wide side decks where you can put the seat and you'll notice that uh, you can operate the boat from this location. You know, it's a short reach over to the steering wheel. And some boats, you can sit behind the wheel and use it. Uh, most of them, not. But uh, the ideal location is right where you see it. On the low side is best. And then as the boat heals, you can just adjust the seat so it stays level. And you're just cruising along in perfect comfort, steering the boat. Just an excellent way to enjoy the boat. Well, Donna said we ought to show another location because not everybody has that wide side deck. And uh, this happens to be a typical T cockpit. And that's one of our hatchboards Donna's sticking down there. 
just for a little extra support and putting a chair on top of it and she will climb into that comfortable chair and let's see how that works great now she's even closer to the wheel and how's that work very good i'm completely comfortable i can reach the wheel from here you can see what i'm doing awesome you want to show the people how cool it works up in the bow pulpit sure all right okay here we are at the pointy end of the boat and often a nice place to ride but super nice with one of these duffy chairs don is showing how it's done here and you can sit in it any old way you want but what works really great is to put it up here and just kind of lounge on it have you got good support there absolutely uh, oh, okay now it's nice at anchor like this that's all well and good when it's really nice is when you're out in the three to five footers like you're on Lake Michigan, you're getting a little spray and the boat's pitching up and down, but you're up here nice and comfy. And what we found is that the back of the Duffy chair acts as a deflector for all the sea spray. Cause it, it doesn't care if it gets wet, it's an umbrella, it's totally waterproof. And when it gets wet, you just hang it on a line and let it dry and it dries really quickly. So anyway, there's a really cool spot to use it and there's hardly a spot on the boat where you can't use it. But let's see if we can find eh, at least one more. Thanks, Donna. What's so nice about the chair is it's so light. You can just throw it around and move it anywhere on the boat. Here's another one of my favorite spots. It's just sitting up here. Seeing what's going on. That looks like a good spot. So you can do that underway or have a book or put somebody else next to you on one too. Absolutely. Great place to be. Let's see if we can find maybe one more spot. Well, here's one other location. And, you know, any sailboat that has a conventional cockpit or a T-shaped cockpit, you're going to have one park bench facing another. And quite often you're going to want to sit there and as the boat heals, here's some fake heel with some camera tilt. Um, as, it, as it heals, you want to brace your feet on the other side. That's just typical sailboat posture. And this is going to be super comfortable that way. And I've had people ask, does it slip? And Donna, does it slip? No, it's never slipped on me. Because, you know, sure, the bottom's slippery, but no more so than your pants. And so any, any place you'd normally sit and brace your feet or do anything, the Duffy seat stays in place and just makes you a whole lot more comfortable than you'd ever be without it. People wonder where we store the cushion. It's, it's kind of big, it's on the boat, and there's not much room on a boat for storage. But most of the time we're using it. When we're not using it, we just store it on the beaver. It's like you want a duffy seat? I do. All right. What's nice is they maneuver so well because they're just full of Like you want a duffy seat? Hey, would you get one for me? Sure. Great. Oh, they're just up there in the beaver. Yep. Okay, so that's where you keep them all the time, and then you just grab them when you need them. What do you do when somebody wants to sleep in the beaver? Where do you put them? Anywhere else in the cabin. Oh, okay. A lot of times at night we'll put them up on the seats. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Even if it rains, nothing hurts them. 